Hello everyone, I'm Dragon with you, and today we have many important events to talk about. First of all, we have Guardians of Outland, which is a big event, and it allows you to boost your heroes. And at the same time, Foundations of Power is still on, which is a Titan event. So today you can boost both heroes and titans. I didn't create a video about this event, but you can find it on my channel earlier. And uh, actually what we have is both require you to spend emeralds, to spend energy. As you can see, I didn't have any of that. After that, also, we have Outland in both of them. So look, we have Outland, energy, and spend emeralds in both events. Which means you can get double value if you try to use those resources today. About Guardians of Outland. So basically we need to log in up to three times, reach the AP level up to fifths, spend emeralds once again, spend energy up to 12,000, and here is a tricky part. So look, that's the basic planning for energy spending. But remember that we actually have a calendar, which means you will get another event very soon. And let me show you those events. So look at that. We have Time of the Fearless starting at 7th. So the last day of this event will stack with Time of the Fearless and there you will be able to get even more energy. That's why, first of all, I would say you need to add 500 energy from Time of Fearless, potentially, plus 300 for that event, because if you check that event, well, we will have same situation. So, plus 300 for login. So, actually, I would say the following. So, you get 500 energy for start of the next event, and you get 100 more energy because you log in at that day, just like that. So that's why I would say that we can correct our calculations with that information included. And you can remove five trades from the calculations, which I showed on left side, or remove one more trade from the right side. So that's the energy planning, which I wanted to share with you. And uh, actually, I really hope that you don't overspend, but I think that today is a great day for boosting both Titans and Heroes, so why not try to get most part done? At the same time, remember about Platinum Boxes, other stuff, so don't spend everything today anyway. Okay, after that we have the Path of Strength, which is Outland, and once again, double value at Outland, which means we can try to get closer to our aim. So that's the planning for Outland, as usual. Depend on where you plan to stop. The best balanced option is 36 chests, if you want to get everything, but pay less. And uh, about other options depend on you. So in all cases, you don't need 4,500 for this particular event, but I guess you could need it for the Foundations of Power. So check yourself if you want this part or not. Personally, I would stop at around 36 or something like that. Okay, after that we have quests. So the more quests you complete, the better rewards you get for sure. So to sum up, today we have stack of Foundations of Power and Guardians of Outland. But later on we will have double event, which brings you skins for your heroes. And uh, now let's talk about another important thing. So we have a new season, Champion Season, which also started kind of recently. I will not buy Golden Ticket, but at the same time I would like to highlight that these rewards are useful for your heroes for sure. And why they say that's the price of Golden Ticket is because if we compare the rewards, which you can get here, so Make sure you need those artifacts before you just think, should I invest in this or not? Check those artifacts, which are offered here. So in case you need a red artifact, then that itself can be a huge value for your heroes. 
but as an ultimate value, gift of dominion allows you to boost your hero to the next frame, I would say. So that means this is really great event for your heroes. But for my particular case, as you can see, I have many heroes red plus two. That's why I'm not hurrying to complete this event. And even at my situation, so if we manage to go to rarity fair, if we are lucky enough to get this, then I would show you that actually those artifacts are very expensive. In emeralds, if you compare the rarity fair pricing, that's why this season helps a lot, for sure. But if you have many heroes developed, then maybe you can skip it and save your money. So depend on your will and depend on what you prefer. Okay, so I hope that quick overview will help you to decide when you need to use your resources. Remember about next events which are coming soon. And I would like to know what is upgrading Titan's event. And maybe that event can help me even more. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Good luck to you.